It's time to craft. Let's go. Let's go guys. So as you can see, I have 18 of these wood squares that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I am going to stain both sides of these squares using the apple barrel paint in the color burnt umber. And now you see that I have some letters here. These letters came from Walmart and I am going to basically mod podge this beautiful napkin that I picked up from the Dollar Tree on top of the letters J and Y because tonight we are going to make a storage bin for Christmas ornaments or whatever you want to, to use it for. And that's right. I am going to create an enormous size storage box. And as you can see, I am tracing out what I've traced out the letter and now I'm adding some Mod Podge on top of it and I am going to dry it and then I am going to put the napkin on top of it, reactivate the Mod Podge by um, using this iron to heat it up. So guys, I wanna welcome everybody back to the channel, my new and returning subscribers. I pray that you all have had a blessed week so far and that the remainder of your week goes equally as well and just as amazing. Also, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button so that no YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload anything to the channel. So now you see that I'm going to do the same thing to the letter Y that I did to the J. Again, I am going to use Mod Podge to add this beautiful napkin on top of the letter Y. Now, as you can see, this particular craft, I am doing a lot of DIYs in it. As you can see, I first started out with staining all of the um, wood squares. Then I'm using Mod Podge to um, add to the top of the letters J and the letter Y. And then we are going to create a pine cone wreath using the pine cones that I picked up from uh, Car Lake a couple of weeks ago, almost about two months ago. And we're going to make a wreath out of those. So there's a lot of DIYs going on in this particular project. And that's why I was unable to really get it up to the channel last night like I had uh, originally attended, intended on doing. And all I'm doing is just using my uh, utility knife to cut out the excess, excuse me guys, the excess um, napkin. And then as you can see now, I'm moving on to the letter O and I am using some of that burnt umber paint to um, paint the letter O with. And I am going to use it to distress the letters Y and the letter J as well. And I'm also doing around the trim of the letters using that burnt umber paint. So guys, I am really excited um, for you to see how this project turned out. Um, I'm thinking about doing another variation of this project. So it just depends on timing, um, if I have time to do it or not. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out cute. And it's a great decorative piece to store your um, Christmas ornaments and or like your drop cords and stuff like that. So again, guys, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. And don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload anything to the channel. And you'll see that I've added some of the steps that I was doing to this project because some of um, the steps will be cut off. I did speed this up for time's sake, um, but if you want to see a more detailed tutorial on how to construct this storage box, just make sure you leave it in the comment section of the video. And then here you see that I am just 
flocking the, the pine cones by adding some of that um, plaster paint. It is a Waverly brand chalk paint on top of the pine cones. Guys, my baby will be turning 18 on Friday. I cannot believe the last of the bunch has finally reached the age of accountability by law. <laughs> I am so, so like just shocked. I have an 18 year old, no more babies. And my mom will be turning 78 this year on, on Friday as well. So two special people turning 18 and 78. I can't believe my mom's 60 years older than my baby boy. <laughs> and now you see that I was um, commenting on my crafting bestie Felicia's video. She just uploaded on um, Timu Hall part one to her channel. So if you have yet to check out Felicia over at BOK Media Life um, channel, please head on over there and show her some support and tell her her crafting bestie Joy sent you. And now you see me just doing placement for my box. And as you can see, I have my pine cone wreath in the center and the letters J and Y. And now I am constructing the storage box. And all you're going to do, guys, is just make it as large or as small as you want it to be. However, I will say that I did not um, pay attention when I was... Um, putting this together initially and I ended up with a little gap but if you want to avoid that gap make sure you bring your boxes or your uh, panels or your um, uh, boards in closer and all I'm using to put this together is some of those um, tumbling tower blocks but you can use uh, popsicle sticks and or if you have a brad neller, you can use a small brad neller. This wood is so thin. That's why I just opted to use just the tumbling tower blocks. Because I have a lot of those that's just sitting on the shelf. So why not make use of it? So guys, I've determined that I am going to put up my grandchildren's Christmas tree tomorrow, which is Thursday. Uh... November 21st and yeah I'm going to get it up and I'm trying to decide if I want to film that um well, we'll just have to see And you can see that little gap right there I was making reference to. I should have brought my boys in boards in a little closer, but I didn't. But make sure you you do that before you start gluing things down. That way you will not have that that gap there. And now we're here at the reveal, guys. Overall, I think this turned out very cute. I cannot wait for you to see it in the still photo that I will be um, including in this picture or in the video. You guys just got to let me know what you think about it. I do feel that this is a great way to um, hide your excess cords and just store it for next season. Guys, if you like this content, please make sure you leave me a message or a comment in the comment section of this video. And also make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and foe. And know that Joy appreciates each and every one of you. And until the next DIY. Bye, guys.